think I got saved. I fought with my wife more that week than ever. I'm like, wait a minute, I just got saved. Why am I fighting and arguing with my wife? And then when I read these passages and I understood what was going on within me, who I am in Christ, it made a little sense. There's no excuse, but it made sense. Just because we know who we are in Christ and we know there's a battle going on is not an excuse to walk in the flesh. Okay? Read and study the Word of God. And you do that we don't throw out the whole Bible. Paul says in Romans 15, 4, these things written four time are for our learning. But we have to read them according to the revelation of the mystery and rightly divide it. What's to the church, the body of Christ, and what's not. So, I think these are ten things Jesus would say to a gay person, a drunk, a liar, a thief, an adulterer, um, and on and on and on. But I, I, I chose the gay coming out because that was the question asked to me last week. And it's a prominent thing. Can a gay person go to heaven? Sure. Well, what if they get saved and they still do some of these things? It ain't up to me <laughs> or you. It's up to God. Are they sealed until the day of redemption? That's between them and God. God knows. Ha, huh, now, something just hit my mind here. Uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2. Okay. Give me a minute here until I find it. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 19. Nevertheless, the foundation of God stand sure, having this seal. The Lord knoweth them that are His, and let everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. So I will close with this. If a person is truly in Christ and saved and sealed to the day of their redemption, they should stop doing what they're doing, no matter what the sin. And you have power to do it. Father, we thank you for the redemptive work of Christ. Father, we thank you for your word. And I pray that your word would reach people, give them an understanding of how you're ministering to us today in the dispensation of grace. And we thank you.